everyone, my name is Brand with Budget with Brand. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a paycheck to check-in. Um, I'm going to try to start doing my check-ins on the midweek so that on the weekend when I post my video, I can do my cash envelopes because we get paid on Fridays um, just, so, just so that I have the money for the cash envelopes. So today we're going to be doing a check-in. I'm going to be honest, this check uh, wasn't great for us. Uh, we did have a lot of unexpected expenses and it was due to a number of different things so I will go ahead and let you guys know um, when we get into it. So the last time that we did film I went ahead and closed my budget out on the 14th so this is actually going to run all the way from the 15th till the 30th even though we got paid on the 17th. So on January the 15th uh, we had to go to Sephora because I needed foundation. I ran out of foundation on my way to work and I tried to go to CVS and I used my spending money to buy some foundation from CVS. I went into my car before I was literally in the parking lot at my job, put on this foundation. It was <laughs> the wrong color. Um, so we just went ahead and purchased the foundation at uh, Sephora. I do the Rihanna Fenty foundation just because I have really oily skin. So that was $37.82. And then on January 17th, which was payday, we actually went to Chipotle and we spent $20.54. Now we get like literally the same thing every time we go. So I get uh, a single meat, um, no guac. My husband always gets double meat and then I get a large drink. So it's always $20 and some cents. And I notice depending on where we buy, the cents will change based off tax of the city that we're in. It's, it's really weird. On January the 18th, my husband actually needed some things from Best Buy and he spent $48.84. I don't, I think this was for his phone, but I'm pretty sure he told me he's just gonna use his uh, birthday money that I'm gonna give him um, with our next check to pay for this expense. So it was still unbudgeted, $48.84. On January 19th, we actually went to the car show that I was talking about. We bought tickets for. And um, we, I think my husband bought a water there and it was expensive as heck. It was $4 for a bottle of, a, bottle of water. And then we also got groceries on that day. And that was $102.79. And then we had a no spend on January the 20th. And then on January the 21st is when we had a really big unexpected expense. My husband had an interview for a, a position at our job. And he, uh, if you guys have been following my channel, um, I've stated this many times, he's on a, uh, like a diet, like l lifestyle change, I should say. And he's actually lost 60 pounds already. So... He has um, dress clothes for work, but they're very big on him. And he's, I mean, he's still wearing them, but he wanted to look presentable and just buy some pieces that he can wear in the future if we go to a wedding or if he has another job interview. Um, so he went to the men's warehouse and picked up some stuff. And that was $91.34. Of course, I think if he didn't lose so much weight, we wouldn't have, have had to spend, you know, so much money on some new clothes for his interview. But 60 pounds is a lot. And he is starting to swim in all of his clothes. I think it's cute, but he's just like, no. All right, and then on January the 22nd, we had a beauty expense, and that was $65. All right, and then on the 23rd, I filmed a video on this day. It was the last video. I think it was uh, my paycheck, my February paycheck. And if you guys watch that video, you'll know that in the beginning of the video, I was really loud. But then towards the end, I was really quiet because my friends actually came over and was sitting in the living room and I was just so embarrassed to try to finish filming while they were there. So if you guys want to go watch that video, you'll know that I got like really quiet and really timid because I don't know, normally I film when my husband's at work. And now that we have the same schedule and we're going to be together 24-7, I'm going to have to get over that fear. But I don't know, I just thought it was so funny. So they came over on the 23rd. And we had some unexpected expenses on this day. Like I said, this check was not so great. But, I mean, it didn't put us in the red or anything. It was just like we had, we haven't had a lot of unexpected expenses like pretty much since I want to say November is when we had a really bad month and then December was really good. 
So, uh, the purpose of us hanging out is because we were gonna go to the movies to go see the new anime film Weathering With You. It's not new, but it just came out subbed. Um, it's from the same director that wrote Your Name. If you guys are into animated films or Japanese films or even anime, uh, the same director that made Your Name. Tell me if, if you guys watched it, tell me if you liked it. I would say I liked Your Name more because I feel like it was the first of that genre or of its kind and then weathering with you kind of just followed the same format of the first film but me and my husband are really into anime my uh, friends came over paid for our ticket and we actually went but we paid for snacks and that was fourteen dollars and 75 cents and we also went to uh, went out to eat my husband didn't eat anything but I did <laughs> don't gotta tell me twice and that was $15.11 and we went to Cafe Rio, which is like a, I guess it would be like a rival to Chipotle. And then I went to Claire's and I actually bought some headbands because I chopped off all my hair. I wear a lot of headbands, but the headbands that I wear now are like wraparound headbands. And if I were to wear them, they would actually like make the bottom of my hair stick out. So I bought some of the, I don't even know how to describe them. They're just like headbands that go to your ears. And they, they're really cute. I got it from Claire's and that was $25.91. We had a no spend on January the 24th. And then on January the 25th, we got groceries. And that was, ooh, that was Chinese New Year too. That was uh, $94.76. And then we also went to Chipotle on that day and spent $20.63. On the 26th, we went to McDonald's and we bought a coffee for $1.84. And then with the leftover money that we had from groceries, I put in our miscellaneous envelope. And we actually used that to go to Target. We picked up some detergent pads, like the Cascade ones, deodorant, and then my husband wanted a notebook for uh, his class. So that was $21.25. And then I've been watching a lot of mukbangs recently and I was watching the girl that does the, I think it's like Trailer ta trailer Trash Tammy, and she was um, saying how much the Skittles uh, freezers were at Taco Bell, the strawberry one. So I picked one up, that was crooked. <laughs> So that was $2.81 and it was actually really good. I did not dislike it. It kind of tasted like something that I could just get at Circle K. On the 28th, I uh, just bought some snacks at work and that was $4.52. And we had a no spend on Monday, January the 27th. That was our last expense. So we had a no spend on a Wednesday and a no spend today, which is Thursday the 30th. And then we get paid tomorrow. And then I'll go ahead and do my paycheck budget with me as well as stuffing my cash envelopes on that day as well. So we went to Chipotle on the 17th. And then we also went to Chipotle on the 25th. And I'm gonna put a little guacamole here and then we went ahead and bought my husband some new dress shirts so I will consider that a gift so I'll go ahead and put that there this pretty much completes the month of January for groceries I went ahead and budgeted $240 even and we ended up only spending $197.55 and the remainder of that money is actually in my miscellaneous envelope and I think we have about $17 left over after going to Taco Bell and Target. And then in Chipotle, um, we went twice and I spent $41.17, so we were over $1.17 in that category. In spending, we spent the full $60, gas was the full $100. And savings, I did put $550 in our savings. Now unbudgeted, that comes to a total of 2000 uh, oh my gosh, $244.13. So I guess that's one way to close out a month, right? Uh, we budgeted $990, but we actually spent $1,192.85. Um, let me know if you guys would rather do like weekly check-ins 
or would if you guys would rather have me do the bi-weekly check-ins I just want to kind of get a gauge of what you guys would rather see so that's all I have for this paycheck check-in with me don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel budget with brand I hope all of you guys have a really good week and weekend and spend some time with friends and family and I will see you guys in a couple days. Bye!